Hey everyone, Sherwood Small Pets here. So this is a very, very exciting video. Um, this marks our one year anniversary on YouTube. Um, so I thought there was no better way of doing that than coming on and doing the same video that I did to open up my channel. And that is my boy's Christmas cage tour. Um, I can't believe a year's gone by already. It feels like just yesterday that we got started and I was using my phone to film and I was, you know, attempting desperately to keep it balanced so it didn't shake all over the place. And I had no idea what I would, like, what to say. And I was just like, well, this, these are the things in my cage, you know. The boy's cage has since doubled in size. Um, our household, our guinea pig numbers have doubled in size. We've lost, uh, we've lost three of our hamsters uh, since then um, and we and gained one and Merlin and Gus remain the same. Um, little John's grown quite a lot. Um, actually when this video came out Robin Hood was just getting over mites so that's that was a treat and a half. Um, but yeah I can't believe it. We've ma made some incredible friends. Some of the best people I've ever met in my life. Um, like Carrie actually just celebrated her YouTube anniversary and it was because of her cage tour contest entry for the cabbie house that I was like, oh, what the heck, I'll join YouTube. You know, if someone can join and enter a contest just on the fly, I can, you know, try. And, uh, you know, you guys have all been flipping wonderful human beings and, uh, I am incredibly grateful. I don't know. I don't know if I'd still be on YouTube had I not met you guys. Um, but you know, I'm glad that I stayed on here because I've, you know, it's been so cool seeing growing with other YouTubers and, you know, changing what we do and trying new things together. Things like, you know, new companies like Linda's company, you know, Playtime Little Critters. Um, and falling deeper and deeper in love with the same companies like I have with Piggy Pop Shop. And it's just been, it's been a real ride. Um, so I just wanted to say a huge thank you before I get into the cage tour um, for, for one of the greatest, you know, years of my life. It's been, there's been lots of, you know, change, ups and downs and whatever's, but you guys have been there and I've really appreciated it. So... Anyway, before I get too emotional, let's get started on the cage tour. So, uh, just do an overview, I suppose. It's so hard to get this whole friggin' thing in the one shot. Um, I'll start with this thing. So, this is a little garland that has little foxes on it. And at the bottom I have a giant red bell. And we just kind of hung it like that from the ceiling just because I thought it looked really pretty. And why not, you know? So that we got the thing from Ikea and the other thing we got from Dollarama. All of the decorate, like the decorations that I made, I got the materials from either Michael's, Dollarama, Zoe and Lilo's toy box, and Ikea. Okay, so let's start at this end. So here we have a Piggy Pop Shop uh, hay bag. It's like blue with sparkles, so I thought that was perfect for winter. We have a Piggy Pop Shop pad, one of our pads from Carrie. Uh, we have our first ever uh, cozy item, our pig mom. Why did that go red? Go back to normal colors. Hold on. There we go. Um, the liner, the liners that are in here are actually just fleece wrapped in uh, U-Haul. These are the these are like my Christmas themed fleece. I didn't really I didn't want to buy holiday liners just because. I don't have enough liners to just have one specific for uh, occasion, so I thought this would work quite well. So I just got these ones from Fabricland. Um, down here, they've got their pellets. Nothing really that exciting. What's left of Corny the Owl. One of the Christmas cones from Linda. What's left of this poor pine cone. And then along the back on this side, we have this just hand-painted ornament that I made. Uh, this is a garland that we put together with bells. So there's bells along the whole thing. Um, this is their Christmas tree with a uh, like holly thing coming down the side. 
This is a little Christmas tree with a bell. This is by Playtime Little Critter Creations. Linda made these gingerbread boys. They're so cute. Just a little mirror. This is their dream catcher. More bells. An ornament that I painted. I attempted this side. It doesn't look nearly as good. Um, their holly. This was in their la their fir my first video. Um, it's lasted quite well. Moving down here. Whoa, colors. What the? Okay. So we put this little pad in here because it's like snow, f you know. Uh, it makes like a nice little divider. This is a very high traffic area, so that's why I did that. Um, this is their f our first ever Piggy Pop Shop item. It's the bungalow. It's held out really well, especially considering for the first five months, we only had the pigwam, this, and a tunnel. So th this got used every single day. We have my Busy Bunny roller. You guys know how much I like these. Along the back, we just have another ornament that I painted. Um, a bird toy that's from PetSmart, more bells, another ornament. This is a wreath here that's made out of willow balls and wooden stuff. This is our Petco tree that you guys saw, which is standing up for now. And then we have another one of the trees. Right over here, we have the corner curtain um, with the woodland creatures. We thought this would be a nice thing to put in this cage since it's the it's like the follow-up woodland creatures one year later. Um, this is their extra wide hoodie hut. This is one of the presents that I made. This is another pattern just from Fabricland. I really like this pattern a lot. Merlin has the same one, just in a different color. He also has the same one that, just in a different color as well. Uh, this is one of the toss about toys that Linda makes. This is a pine cone Christmas tree that I made, just with sisal, wooden balls, and a pine cone. And this is like one of my favorite accessories in here. This is our uh, the small barrel roller by Playtime Little Critter Creations. And then this is one of her dummies. And then if we go out here, along the front we have more bells. Then we have um, a bunch of these fox like paper uh, cutouts. They're like, or it's supposed to look like I think an origami fox. It's from Ikea, it's the same as the white foxes. And then we have this garland going along the outside. We have uh, this wreath that I made. I just strung a bunch of jingle bells, or together and then put sisal on a in a bow with wooden stuff and then we go along and that is the cage tour okay so I can't believe that's been a year it's gone by really quickly hey babes <laughs> But I just wanted to say again, a huge thank you. We all really appreciate it. Robin Hood and Little John have, you know, greatly enjoyed being themselves around you for an entire year. We look forward to so much more to come. Um, you know, just a giant thank you to all of you. I wish you the very merriest of Christmases, the happiest of holidays, and, you know, you'll be seeing us again real soon. Thanks a lot. Bye, everyone.